what's up Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. On my quest to finally empty out all of these shipping boxes that I have in my collection room and actually reorganize my collection so that you can get a tour, I have a lot of product to get through from 2020, 2021, and now 2022. So I've split up all the different boxes that I have into uh, specific topics. So today's topic is going to be all about Qpot. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you are already familiar with Qpot. I have done reviews of their products before. In fact, I have a lot of their products hanging up back here behind me. They make a lot of macaroon or dessert inspired jewelry and I think it's really cute. It's obviously very big fashionable jewelry. They also make some really cute keychains. I think that all of it is really worthy of putting on display. However, I would definitely not wear these products every single day because one, they are really, really pricey for what you get. So these are definitely something that you would want to have an interest in. I would not just collect these because they are Sailor Moon. And two, they're very big, they're very prominent. And usually I don't wear a lot of jewelry, so I, I definitely don't wear these unless I'm going for a very specific look. So today's unboxing is of a couple of different collections of Q-Pot jewelry and a few accessories that they came out with uh, last year and I think the year previous. I've just had these sitting in a box for forever and I wanted to finally get them out, review them, and go ahead and put them on display where they belong. So some of the items in my package over here were actually from previous Qpot Sailor Moon collaborations, but they did have additional stock. So I went ahead and picked up a few things that I had originally skipped. So I will be showing you the jewelry, the bonus items, as well as a couple of little accessories too. Okay, so as you can see on my drop down camera up above me, I have a lot of product and a lot of different items on my table right now. You can tell from the packaging that they are from a couple of different collaborations. I believe this was the most recent recent collaboration, but I will also be reviewing a couple of items that I also purchased last year. I'll go ahead and get this first item off of the table because it's the biggest item. Uh, this is quite simply just a cardboard box that you can use to display all of your Qpot necklaces and Qpot accessories and rings. It does have 12 different slots for anything from rings to necklaces, and this is a little foam pad that comes out with a little soft cover on it. The top cover does feature this really cute ice cream background that you can use behind your display. For example, if you wanted to display it like this, I think that would be really cute. And we have the collaboration graphic of Usagi dressed up with her desserts in hand. And at the bottom, it says Qpot Sailor Moon. So very, very simple, just a little cardboard box, but something I wanted to use for display. There's also a few freebie items that I got for purchasing a specific amount. Uh, if I can find those amounts, uh, but I will definitely check on those and put that information down below. This is simply a paperweight. I thought it was really beautiful and I love that it has the Qpot Sailor Moon logo on the inside of it. It's a globe and it is very heavy. These two boxes might actually be the exact same thing in both boxes. And if it is, I usually sell my duplicates over on my Instagram. So if these are duplicates, then you can look out for a sale of the extra. So this is a beautiful, beautiful little plate that features Princess Serenity's dress and a little crescent moon at the top and gold chrome. And then it says Qpot Sailor Moon at the bottom. This would be really good next to like a sink as a ring dish. I think that would be very pretty. Okay, on to the jewelry. This is my favorite part. I love this jewelry so much. It's so much fun and I love how they incorporate Sailor Moon into what Qpot is known for, which is their dessert and treat inspired jewelry. I'll start with this black box since I don't know what's in it. See, this is the fun part about like leaving all this stuff in a box for over a year is that I don't remember what I purchased. So it's kind of like getting presents every day when I do these unboxing hauls. It's so much fun. Oh, this one's pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's cool. I remember this one now. So this was one of the pieces that I would actually wear all the time because because it's dainty, it's small, it's very, very pretty, and you really have to look closely in order to understand that it is Sailor Moon, but it features Sailor Moon's compact, of course. Okay, so this is a really stunning necklace of Sailor Moon's compact. You can see this gorgeous pink gem in the center, and then we have the compact-inspired wings, 
as well as the heart shape in gold. That's very cute. I would actually wear this. I think it's really, really pretty and it would go with most of my outfits, especially since most of my outfits are Sailor Moon. And if you're wondering where this shirt is from, it was a Sailor Moon birthday t-shirt that they had available at the Sailor Moon store a couple of years ago. So I decided to get it in both pink and purple. This is the purple one. Let's move on to this other very, very strange, mysterious box. What is in here? Okay, so this was one of the older items, but they had additional inventory. So I was able to grab one, which I did not purchase at the original release of this item because I just didn't have the budget for it. But I did this past year, so I decided to grab one. Okay, so this is a necklace that is based off Luna P. And you can definitely tell how it was inspired by Luna P. I love that they even included the antenna at the very top. That is so freaking cute. So to give you a close up of this, on the front we have Luna P's cute little eyeballs. And at the top we have the antenna, which is used to attach the chain. Very cute. Now this is kind of transparent. So you can see some little icons in the back, including Chibiusa's umbrella, a little heart and a little candy. Very cute. It almost looks like a little gumdrop. Adorable. I love it. That also came with this really nice little pouch to keep it safe and sound. But of course, I put all of my bigger Q-Pot jewelry on display. Okay, I'm gonna save the Princess Serenity and Princess Small Lady Serenity boxes for last. I'll go ahead and open up these because I think these were also ones that they had extra inventory of. Here we have the Kaleida Moon Scope. So this one is also a necklace. This one has two chains, two chain, and it is in rose gold. This chain looks like it is more rose gold than gold. Here's the Kaleida Moon Scope. You can see some really, really pretty little gemstones going up the rod. It's got kind of a pearlescence sheen going on on it. Very, very pretty, very shiny. I'm definitely happy I was able to add this to my collection. Really, really pretty. Now you can see like that little drip right there is supposed to be like icing on dessert. That's where Cupid is bringing in their inspiration. I also love that Q-Pot puts everything in these really nice tins. These are a wonderful way to preserve your jewelry if you don't want to put them on display. So useful. Okay, on to number three, as far as jewelry goes. Oh, this one is not jewelry. This is a keychain. So this keychain is supposed to look like a little kitty head, but it's a macaroon. So it has icing on the inside. So this looks like Diana. It's gray, just like Diana's colors. It's got a little crescent moon on the front. And then on the inside, we have some pink icing. So cute. And then there is a little icon right here that says q -Pot and Sailor Moon on the back. And it has q -Pot's Q logo on the front. This is really adorable. I think it would look so cute on one of the cat inspired Samantha the Vega purses that I have. Also, I haven't mentioned it yet, but the little gemstones that you can see in the icing are usually Swarovskis. This is so fun because I can finally like actually wear some of this stuff, not have it sit here in a box. I remember purchasing this one and thinking, mm, if I have the budget for it, I'll go ahead and grab one. But if not, I'm not gonna miss out too much on it. This is inspired by Chibi Moon's brooch. So here we have a brooch that looks just like Chibi Moon's brooch and Here's the cool part, it opens. Look how pretty that is on the inside. So this looks just like Chibi Moon's Compact. And have I opened that Proplica yet? Oh, I guess not. I haven't opened the Proplica yet. Yeah, I just have her wand out. Okay, so I don't have her Proplica out right now, so I can't show you a comparison, but hopefully I can find an image online of what the inside of Chibi Moon's Compact looks like so that you can get a nice little comparison. But again, this is another really big, heavy, bulky piece of jewelry that Q-Pot is known for. But if you're into that, like I am for display, this looks very, very pretty. Yeah, I think that's all of them that came in the pink tin. So let's go ahead and move on to this collaboration, which I believe was from last year. And this entire collaboration was based off of Princess Serenity and Princess Small Lady Serenity. So first we have a ring. Uh, yes, 
Yes, I do remember purchasing this beautiful ring. This is slightly larger than the rings that I usually wear, but I still thought that it was very, very pretty. And look how well it matches with my nails today. Which by the way, Hollow Taco, amazing. Highly recommend Hollow Taco for nail polish if you do your own nails. So here we have this beautiful and very cute ring that's inspired by their dress. So here we see what is inspired by Princess Serenity's dress or Small Lady Serenity given the pink gemstone. And I really like the color of this ring. I think it's very, very pretty. Does it fit? Yes, yay, I got the right size. That's what it would look like on your hand. Super pretty, so cute. I see another keychain. So I bought this with the intention of putting it on my white Samantha Vega purse that is also inspired by Princess Serenity's dress because I thought it would match perfectly and I still think so. So this one looks like a cookie with icing on it and I think that is so adorable. So here on the back we see what looks like a cookie. I legit feel like you could eat this but don't because it's more like a rubberized silicone texture. So don't eat the cookie. On the front we have the Princess Serenity icing and I just love it with the little Swarovski crystals in there. And then we have a little fake pearl on the keychain and we have Qpot's logo in the middle of a crescent moon. That is cute. How adorable. How cute is that? I love it. I'm just gonna go ahead and open both of these. Ooh, okay, I'm saving the best for last because this one's my favorite. It was my favorite piece from last year, so very excited about that. All right, this one's pretty simple and sweet. This looks just like the ring that I also mentioned and unboxed. So I could wear these together in a cute little outfit. This one also has a rose gold chain, has the same pink gemstone as the ring. So they would look super cute together. And it's not too big that I would feel kind of weird wearing it. And then last but definitely not least is my favorite piece from this collaboration last year. And this was the Q-Pot. It looks like a, it almost looks like a perfume bottle and it features Princess Serenity and Small Lady Serenity inside this really cool translucent heart, which is kind of like the Luna P drop that I showed you earlier. Again, we have Q-Pot's logo on the little chain. The chains are unique too. I always think these are so pretty. And then here we have the, I think it's a perfume bottle. That's what it kind of reminds me of. So we have Princess Serenity over here and Small Lady Chibiusa over there. There are some little gemstones inside this transparent heart and it does have kind of a pink vibe to it and you also have that cool like dripping icing going over the heart. I feel like this one is so pretty and it's very unique. A lot of their products are based off of macaroons this one definitely is not. So I thought it was really cool to see in person. So there you have it. There is my Q-Pot haul from 2021 and some additional accessories that they finally had back in stock. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about purchasing from Q-Pot, I'm pretty sure I did a video a while back that is still accurate that can show you exactly how I go through the purchasing process. I don't have to use a proxy for any of these purchases whenever I order things from Qpot, but you do have to have a Japanese address. So leave your questions and comments down below. If you are new here, do not forget to like and subscribe. Again, I am Sailor Snubs. I love Sailor Moon. So those are all the videos that you will see on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Jane.